I'm white. All right, Chad, we got another video for y'all boys today, right? Now, we got another Jubilee video. They do all different kinds of videos, but y'all seem to like the channel, and I like the channel. So we got six white guys versus one secret black guy. We're going to see if more Jay can figure out who is the black guy. And I really don't have that much to say, so without further ado, let's get into it, y'all boys. I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. And I'm black. Oh, they tricked all of us. All right, guys, so my name's Ethan. Um, I'm a bartender. Grant, I'm a... I'm just a student. My name is Courtney. Um, I'm a chef. My Yo, name is Parker. They have and, a hell of a uh, twist, it's crazy. bro. I used to be a chef. I run a video production business. Uh, I'm Justin. Uh, I'm a writer director. I'm K Yo, Justin actually sounds white as fuck. Holy shit, bro. This I is work crazy. In IT. Uh, my name's Carmine. I was like, Carmine? I've never heard that name before in my life. He's definitely white. When I lived in New York, I had a best friend named Carmine and Damon. They're both white dudes. So like, let me just use one of their names. And I was like, Carmine sounds more white. I currently am I a host at the Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills. And I'm a part-time streamer. Is Carmine a Italian name? Mm. No. I'm actually, I'm half Dutch and I'm half German. <laughs> I said, is that an Italian name, Carmine? And he said, no. And it's completely an Italian name. I was gonna try to go after him right after that. He said he was like Dutch and something, Irish or something. Oh, okay. My mom's side of the family, it's part Dutch, but part English. I'm actually half German and half Italian, so. On my okay. dad's side's German for sure. Got some Irish here and <laughs> a, a bit of Filipino. Oh, oh. interesting. Mm. Everyone sounds tall to me. Uh, How tall is everyone? I'm 5'8". Uh, I hear you. I'm about 5'8 as well. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so. uh, I'm pushing 5'10, but I tell the girls, I'd be like, I'm six foot. I mean, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> it's only two inches. With two pairs of socks, I'm six feet. <laughs> two pairs of socks. I got him beat by two one pairs inch. Of socks right, I'm 5'5, five, five, but I'm 5'6 I'm on a good day. I'm just going to put that out right now. <laughs> so, I really wanted to ensure that like, hey, I'm 5'5. Five five. I'm short. No black jeans here. So, How about we go down the line on what haircuts everyone has. What kind of haircut do you have? Hairstyle. I'm All like medium short, uh, and it's like a two on the side. I take the scissors on the top a little bit. Mm, uh, scissors, okay. Yeah. I have long brown hair to my shoulders. I have a wolf cut. I have uh, like, you know, like the Gordon Hayward, uh, got the fades on the side and then a good amount on the top. Okay. Right. okay. I said, uh, like a fade on the side, like kind of like Gordon Hayward. I mean, someone said they got a two on the, I was like, what? What? <laughs> a two, I've never, you know. So I was like, yeah, kind of like Gordon Hayward. And I thought that basketball reference was gonna give me up. Everyone, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, got it. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> what kind of hair products do people use? I use uh, some leave-in conditioner and like, American Crew Fiber. Okay. What do you guys mm -hmm. I honestly, Yo! I just put one on That's it. Yes. <laughs> that was well My hair's long, first. so I don't really have to use. If I'm trying to be fancy, I'll throw on some pomade, you know? All oh, right. right. Okay. Something like that. I have a mullet. So, so the strategy behind asking no about the haircuts was That's crazy. I figured when I, I said I had sure a mullet, that, that would just ingratiate me in with the rest of the whites because the <laughs> mullet is the white man's jerry curl. So I thought for the sure white man's they would just think that I, like I was that. absolutely That's a white funny. dude once I told him I had a mullet. I thought about doing that with my hair, but I don't think I want to do that. I mean, you got to be from Hardy Stock to rock the mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't rock the mullet. <laughs> that they're all black is crazy, bro. And they only think there's one black guy. I was like, what was it when I said I was Irish and Filipino? I was like, was it the Filipino part? They're like, uh, you're not as white as us, so you gotta go. His voice was so deep. I was like, perfect. Let me just get rid of Goliath. <laughs> Real quick. I voted for him because like, he sounded tall. He said something and then I just felt like his voice. He sounded black. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what are your parents' names? My mom's name is Karen. Let the jokes ensue. <laughs> and my dad's name is Eric. Karen. Mm -hmm. Couldn't uh, go to a restaurant with her. My mom, Tina, and then my dad, Michael. My dad's Isaac and my mom is Sandra. Last name Van Dynhoven. Y'all make beer? 
Like, I I don't know her family <coughs> as well, at least not the Dutch side of it, but I have met, like, the English side in there. I live in Laverham outside of London. And my dad, he's English, but my mom, she's from <laughs> Pensacola, Florida. Got a little accent there, too. Yeah. It's, bit, it's crazy, honestly. Because <laughs> I can switch from English, and then I can go back to, you know, code switching, depending on where I'm at. Why are you code switching? I'm suspect of Parker. I was in the middle. So I couldn't hear how everyone else was talking. He I was going to do an English up. accent the entire time, but I didn't know who else might have been English, and they would catch me quickly. So I said, mm, just, I'm Parker. <laughs> Regular voice. I'm Parker, guys. My mom's name is Gwendolyn. My dad's name is Jacob. My mom's name is Carol. My dad's name is uh, John. John? Suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's name is Robert, and my mom's name is Nadine. Prepping up for today, I Nadine. was trying to, you know, listen to a little bit more, like, country music. I was playing Taylor Swift on the way here. I was calling on my white friends. I'm like, what name should I use? What kind of clothes they wear? I was I was thinking about maybe wearing some board shorts and some bands or some slippers or something like that, but I didn't want <laughs> to do too much. I have a good question, I think. Uh, what type of sunscreen does everyone use? Because I'm, like, super pale. Banana boat, for sure. Banana Banana boat, yeah. banana boat Ho without Hawaiian, a, Hawaiian without tropical. Fail. Hawaiian tropical is a good one. I use super goop as my daily, and I use <laughs> <laughs> super goop. I used to use super goo as a kid, dude. What was your name? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What was your name? They use a super glue. Super goop. Super goop. Justin. Oh, is that, Justin? That's Justin. Oh yeah, yeah Justin said. <laughs> Justin, sorry, Justin. You don't even talk the rest of the round. <laughs> <laughs> we got you, man. Don't worry about it. In my like daily life. A lot of people just like perceive me as like being white if they haven't like actually like seen me. All my friends growing yeah, up were white, white so shit, like I just bro. really was ingratiated in that kind of world. I just kind of knew <laughs> what to say also about things that they think about that black people don't think about, like sunscreen. Like we don't give a fuck about that. I have never used sunscreen in my life. I immediately thought of what my friends use, and I remember the <laughs> it, so I just made sure I say that right off the bat. Then someone next to me, Bull I think it was Grant, he said something about Bull SPF, and I was like, ah, I don't know what that is. What's music you don't like listening to? I'll go for uh, gospel, I can't stand gospel. I don't like gospel or country music. I don't like either of those either. I honestly, I don't listen to a lot of mainstream though. I listen to kind of a lot of, kind of electronic or, uh, you know, old school indie, like okay. emo jams. I listen to a lot of uh, electronic music too, a lot of indie folk. I don't really care for gospel. I can get down to some country though. I'm actually, I'm in my, uh, movie soundtrack era, so yes. if you listen to like the Batman soundtrack or Interstellar, oh my god, amazing. Those are both good. Hans Zimmer yeah. is the man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> movie soundtracks, I'm like, that's definitely like <laughs> maybe a white person. Laugh. So I was like, let me just say, well, I listen to movie soundtracks. Bro, I actually did listen to those though. They're really good. Yeah, they are. Like Interstellar is like, the soundtrack is nice. Uh, I like alternative music. So any of those kind of singers. I've been getting into EDM. My girlfriend loves it, so. Natively hip hop. I'm surprised nobody likes hip hop here. Like, oh, I, like, I, like I mean, hip -hop. I like Little Yachty. Free thugger, you know? Little Yachty. <laughs> I, I've been listening to Little Yachty a little, little bit recently. He's good. Who has a good relationship with their father here? Oh, I've lost a relationship with my, my dad, yeah, and my mom. I had one. My father passed away last year. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry to hear that. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry it's all good. He, he was a great dad. That side is a little silent. I hear I, I, I don't. The left side is not talking. Mm. I definitely have a good relationship with my dad. My dad's been around. He was in the Marines, and my mom was his uh, mistress. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry for calling you out, mom. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> I can't believe I got voted out. I thought I could pull off the perfect white guy act. What else don't I know about myself? It's like, well, of all of them, like you're sussing out Parker. I'm like, he feels the most like white to me out of everyone else. But I was like, sure, if everyone's gonna jump on that bandwagon, I'm gonna do it. He said something about Florida and he said like Florida. He got a little accent there. So I was like, okay, everyone might kind of go towards him. <laughs> I was talking too much. I uh, shouldn't have said that I was from Florida, but I definitely felt like I talked too much in the second round. Can you tell me about your British accent? Is that uh, something you use on a day-to-day -day basis? It comes out when I'm tired or nervous. I wasn't nervous coming into this, but I was nervous once I realized of my placement and that I wasn't the first to speak. Your placement? Nor was I the last, and I was what like, the fuck? Damn. My question was, I was wondering about like sports in high school, like what kind of sports did you guys play? I used to play with uh, lacrosse a little bit, and I, I'm naturally just unathletic. It, it's kind of <laughs> sad. Same, same. I did a lot of sports, actually. I did uh, swimming, tennis, skiing, um, 
at all in high school. Uh, my dad really pushed me to, he really wanted me to be like a tennis star or something, which is mm. crazy. I did get to one singles uh, in high school, which is like a crying achievement, but. Um, Tiny period. Yeah. <laughs> Played golf, uh, did a little bit of track, was terrible at it. Um, then I was in marching band. I kind of played football, like kinda. I, play, I played like Pop Warner when I was seven to 10. It, it just wasn't working out. <laughs> so no basketball people. I don't have the cardio for basketball. <laughs> I'm too late. I'm way too short. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> all these excuses. I can't jump at all. <laughs> I actually struggled to make a lot of black friends while I was growing up. Uh, I kind of took until deeper into middle school and high school before I started making more black friends, mostly because like our school barely had any. Once I went to college, I was like, wow, oh, there's so many people like me. This is crazy. So that was really <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, I actually did have a question. Do you guys feel like you have to hold a masculine frame when you like, go places? I have to hold like a masculine frame? Yeah, like do you, do you feel like your masculinity is tried? To be honest, I've never really thought about it. Also, yeah. I'm gay. I knew he wasn't straight. Well, he might be playing on it, but I don't think he's straight. And I don't think you have to be a certain race to hold a masculine or traditional frame. I think that's just being a man. I don't think it has anything to do with race. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, there is like a weird thing in like the gay like community with masculinity and femininity, but I don't know. I don't really think about it a lot. Maybe I'm just insecure, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a black man myself, I feel, uh, that I have to hold a certain frame sometimes in certain spaces. Everybody struggles with something. Maybe it's all superficial, maybe it's all in my head, but just like specifically black women and black men though, most definitely, we just fight different battles. I have one question. Who's everybody voting for? Ooh. Ooh. I'm just gonna say I'm voting for Trump, okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something a mole would say. Uh, I'm voting for Harris for sure. I. And I hate Trump. <laughs> I gotta be real. Probably gonna be voting for Harris, because why Why go back to old things when there are new things ahead? I voted for Trump the past time, so I'm sticking with that. I was trading in the stock market at one point, and when Trump was president last time, it was kind of doing good for me. So that's the only reason why. <laughs> <laughs> Once the vote came, I, I, I felt it coming because I, I wasn't really doing my best to put on a, a, a white front. I kind of just sounded the same. <laughs> so when they voted me out, I like kind of saw it coming. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. If the majority has doubt, the game will continue. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Red means that you have failed to vote out the mole. The mole is still in the game. Green means that you have won. Three, two, Good. one. The lights are red. You have failed to <laughs> vote out the mole. <laughs> when she said that they failed, I was, okay, there's two of us. All right, it had to be Grant. All right, chat, that seems like it's the end of the video. Well, it was an interesting take. I would have never guessed that. There were some funny comments. Well, I guess we got, can you find who's gay? We might react to that. Let me know if you want to react to that. And I really don't have that much to say. So I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next.